guess what hat this is. It's my ranting hat. So last Friday was the big BlizzCon event, and for those of you that had a social life between the years of, I don't know, 2006 and 2012, BlizzCon is a big convention for the company Blizzard, which are the people that made World of Warcraft. Now, World of Warcraft has been going on for 20 years now, so this BlizzCon event was kind of this big occasion, the 20th anniversary of World of Warcraft, and we were expecting to see a lot of new things there. Now, personally, I haven't played World of Warcraft for many years, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. There was a certain point where I was just like, this isn't the game that I grew up with, and I kind of gave up on it. But when I was much younger, I did enjoy quite a lot of it. Like I said, probably between the years of like 2006 to somewhere around 2012, I was playing that game all the time. I was so into it. It's a major part of my childhood and a big part of me just getting into fantasy in general. So when I woke up Friday morning and I saw that there was this big event, I was like, oh, I should check this out. And I ended up watching the whole thing through uh, Luke Stevens. He was doing a live stream. Uh, he's a big gaming YouTuber. And I was watching it through his live stream and just kind of, you know, reading the comments as I went and kind of seeing how the people who are still playing World of Warcraft were reacting to some of the things that they were announcing. So at this convention, um, they had a few of their talking heads go on stage and, you know, talk about Diablo. And I think there's uh, some mobile game that's out now uh, that's in, you know, the style of World of Warcraft. Um, and then, you know, there was a couple other smaller games. Hey, I'm trying to record a thing. So I think the major thing that everybody was really hoping for was the announcement of World of Warcraft 2. Because like I said, World of Warcraft has been going on for 20 years now, and the game is incredibly outdated, and they keep just adding expansion pack after expansion pack after expansion pack, and everybody's like, man, there's so much cool stuff that you could do with this franchise. And it would be awesome if we got an updated World of Warcraft with new gameplay, maybe the ability to use a controller with it and, you know, re-up the graphics, make it look awesome with today's technology. You could do so many cool things with that. And uh, yeah, so I think everybody was there kind of hoping for that kind of thing at this 20th anniversary big shindig. And what they ended up announcing was they were talking about a WoW Classic. And if you don't know what this is, basically there is a point in World of Warcraft where you get to a certain expansion, or they, they got to a certain expansion called Cataclysm. And what it did is completely change the map. It was like when, um, kind of like when Fortnite just decides to blow up their map and start with something new. And that's kind of what Cataclysm did. It changed everything. Even if you didn't own the expansion, it changed the entire map for every single person. And it added some new like game, gameplay features and a bunch of other stuff that people just weren't that excited about. People liked the map how it was. They liked, you know, this is the map that they grew up with. They liked seeing all of the same buildings that they grew up with. It's very nostalgic. That's the whole, maybe not the whole reason people play that game, but a lot of the reason is because of nostalgia. So when Cataclysm came along and just changed everything, that was around the point where I and many others were kind of like, all right, I'm probably ready to move on to, uh, to other stuff because if you had been playing for that long, by that point, the whole reason that you've been playing that long is because of nostalgia. It's because this world has become a place that you have essentially lived in for how many years until that expansion came out. So 
people were pretty much upset. I'm sure there were people that liked the expansion, and if you, viewer, are somebody that liked that expansion, then let me know down in the comments and let me know if they really stuck the landing with that one. But for me, that was the point where I was just out. So World of Warcraft Classic, they released a few years ago, and that was kind of a way to play the game from the beginning like it was launching day one. And you got to play this through all the whole vanilla experience and then they added like the second and third expansions which were really cool they added new areas and different worlds that you could go to but it didn't mess up your whole vanilla experience well now they announced their their big announcement for or one of their big announcements for this whole showcase is that they are adding cataclysm to world of warcraft classic and you could just see everybody in the comments of this live video was just like, why? Like, what? why are they doing this? Like, Cataclysm was the thing that ruined the whole game to begin with. Why would you add Cataclysm to our vanilla experience? Like, you guys have your Cataclysm and all the other expansions experience over there in the normal World of Warcraft. Why would you ruin the second game that you made that is the previous version? Like, why would you, like, it's just screwing it all up all over again. So, you know, that's that's one of the things that I don't quite understand why they're adding Cataclysm in to the classic game that they made for people like me that were nostalgic for the original game. So that's a little weird, um, weird, weird. And uh, so there was that announcement, there was a couple other things, and then they bring out the guy who was the original writer for World of Warcraft, and I think the original Warcraft games, and he's, he's a big wig in the company, everybody loves him, and he comes out and he's making this great speech. And for a moment, a lot of us in the comments were like, oh this could be it we could be getting world of warcraft 2 and let me just say world of warcraft 2 like if that ever came out i would absolutely buy it day one and just lose my life to it you guys wouldn't hear from me for months because i think if they had updated gameplay updated graphics the whole bit man i would just be gone i'd be playing that forever until eventually it got boring but we're all sitting in the comments we're like this could be it like he's talking like this is a big announcement this is a big thing we're gonna get our world of warcraft 2 he's talking about the next stage of world of warcraft like where they go from here and then he announces another expansion not only another expansion but three that are supposed to map out the next few years and I'm not sure if this is what he meant when he said this, but he was like, let's, he's like, he said something like, we're thinking ahead to the next 20 years of World of Warcraft, and then announces these three expansions. And it's like, wait a minute, are you telling me that for the next 20 years, it's going to be these three expansions? That can't possibly be right. There's no way they go another 20 years with this outdated ass game. There's no way, right? And don't get me wrong, the way the story is going in these expansions, it sounds awesome, but I'm not gonna log into a 20 year old game to play this story. Matter of fact, I'm so far behind at this point, I couldn't imagine that the character that I did have would ever be able to keep up with what anybody's doing nowadays. What they need is a brand new refresh right from square one. Everybody's on the same playing field and just start completely new, new gameplay, new everything, bring in a whole new audience because I haven't looked at the numbers or anything, but I have to imagine the World of Warcraft audience is dwindling. I can't believe that it would be the same numbers that they were seeing in like 2008 or 2009 at their height, right? Like when they were being made fun of on South Park, that was the height of their player base. So 
I just don't get it. I think if they made a new generation of World of Warcraft, we would be so much better off for it. And I don't understand this decision to just keep shoving out more expansions in the same old ass game and then also bringing Cataclysm to World of Warcraft Classic. I was actually about to hop into WoW Classic because I was like, oh, that's like what I remember from, you know, when I was a teenager or whatever. And, uh, you know, I, I kept putting it off, kept putting it off. I'm like, oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And sure enough, now I'm too late because they're introducing Cataclysm again and it just screws everything up. <sighs> so, Anyways, I just wanted to rant a little bit. Uh, this is something that I've had on my mind for a few days now. I've been having trouble with uh, my, my microphone. Something's going on with it. So hopefully this doesn't have horrible audio quality. Um, I definitely need to, uh, need to get a replacement for that soon. Also, I got injured at work, but I can flip the bird real good. Tell you what. Um, so that's super fun that's been super painful been dealing with that so it hasn't been a lot of fun to just sit and edit stuff um and on top of that i think i'm coming down with a cold or something my throat is feeling real scratchy so that's my that's why my voice is all weird in this video um so good things all around right we got world of warcraft my microphone my finger and now my throat so <laughs> oh it's been a great week guys um all right so yeah i just wanted to rant about world of warcraft i just need to blow off some steam because you know like i said this isn't even a game that i play anymore but it would absolutely be a game that i would get back into if they were to update some things or if they just were to you know not screw up world of warcraft classic that'd be awesome but this is the world we live in. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I hope that eventually they release a World of Warcraft 2. I mean, we saw EverQuest 2, we saw Guild Wars 2, we saw all these other video games kind of adapt as gameplay changed and as the years went on. World of Warcraft is such a massive franchise. I, I just don't know why they wouldn't be pushing out a World of Warcraft 2 and actually now that xbox or microsoft has bought them i kind of wonder if phil spencer is going to be like hey you guys need to update this you guys need to make a new game that is warcraft related um whether that's an mmo or just like a maybe an rpg like skyrim or something hopefully they come up with something like that because i would love to see you know as much crap as i give to microsoft and xbox and all of them it would be cool to see them take the warcraft license and start turning that into single player rpgs or something i think that would be really really cool imagine if we got a warcraft skyrim with you know just as good a story and you know all the all the rpg mechanics and everything that would be so cool so i'm i'm hoping to see more from them and hoping to see them use the franchise appropriately now that it's acquired but you know i don't really have a whole lot of faith in blizzard anymore <laughs> so um so yeah we'll, we'll see what happens uh anyways guys yeah i know this was kind of a random super nerdy video this is probably one of the nerdiest videos i've done um but yeah i just I don't know i just wanted to get in front of the camera and talk for a bit and say hi to you guys um i know that we don't have a podcast episode out this week it's just because i've been dealing with all this you guys get it i know you do so uh yeah i'm gonna sign off if you're new here it's not always like this here <laughs> it's not always me just ranting in front of a camera um but if you do want to hear more from us uh please like the video and subscribe and you can see more of our stuff uh and hit the notification bell and you can get notified whenever we have new episodes and videos coming up uh you can reach out to us on twitter patreon and discord those are all linked down in the description if you want to support us on patreon we have 
brand new uh, patron exclusive content over there. I think we just put up our third uh, Fantasy Files After Dark episode, uh, which is where me and one or two or three other of the co-hosts uh, just kind of hang out. We go off topic and we talk about pretty much whatever. So if you guys are into that, you can go over there. You can get that at any tier. If you don't want to do any of that stuff, you can leave us a comment down below and let us know what your experience with World of Warcraft has been or have you never played it? I would love to know uh, what your guys' thoughts on that are. Um, but yeah, otherwise I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys. And a big shout out to our first Night Angel tier patron, Shad Zaman. Thank you so much, man.